what are some takeaways right now for people to lean into when it comes to engaging their senses? You know what, for me, it's, you know, back to the very first chapter of trying to figure out what to put in your space. You know, I say, let's normalize not asking people what their design aesthetic is. Let's ask them what makes them happy. So it's yeah. first about figuring out the things that make you happy, because those are going to be the things that that cultivate good feelings and, and nostalgia and the sense of safety, because your home should make you feel safe. So it's, you know, thinking about your dream vacation, your your favorite show, you know, is your favorite show Mad Men? Yeah, you'll probably love mid-century furniture. You know, I years ago in Quera, we had a, a hero who had inherited his grandmother's home, and it was super well-designed, but for his grandmother, not, you know, a 27 year old bachelor, but he had no idea what his design aesthetic was. He had no, and I even asked him that he's like, I, I don't even know what that means. It's not even something in my vernacular. Cause I've never had to think about that before. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, let me, a different approach. <clears throat> what's your favorite show? And he's like, well, Mad Men. I'm like, all right, mid-century. I'm like, what's your dream vacation? And he's like, Cuba. I'm like, also stuck in the fifties, <laughs> you know? And so I, I did, a mid-century modern furniture. I did this really cool mural of a picture of Havana. I did banana leaf wallpaper in the bathroom and he walked in and he's like, oh my God, this space feels more like me than any other space I've ever walked into. He's like, and we just met three days ago. How did you do that? And I'm like, I just asked you about the things that made you happy and that created uh, endorphins in your mind. And those are the things that filled your home with. 